yet another solo beer review. And today I wanted to look at something that was graciously sent to me by my good friend Casey, and it is a Berliner Weiss style ale, something a little bit more sessionable, something that I can handle on camera. Anyways, it is Firestone Walker's Bretta Rose. This is a wild ale that was fermented with raspberries, clocking at 5.3% alcohol by volume. Um, I guess it spent six months in barrels. Total acidity is 9.3. I'm not sure if that's pH, because if that's pH, that's pretty basic. Uh, anyways, it was fermented with Britannomyces, uh, Lambicus, and Lactobacillus brevis, which are two pretty widely known uh, strains in the American Wild Ale category. And you know what? I've been really kind of aching for a sour lately that kind of changes uh, my opinion on them, because lately I haven't been enjoying sour beers. So uh, as a precursor, I apologize about that. Oh, wow, you fooled the hell out of me with this pour. They bottled the wrong beer? A beer that's fermented with raspberry should be pink to me, especially a uh, Berliner. Um, this is just like a totally, uh, pretty much flat, like 100% Berliner Weiss that has the essence of raspberry based on the appearance. Um, that color and that lack of actual booming carbonation is super concerning. So let's see if this has any redeeming qualities. See if we can get some head back. Not really. Let's get the nose. Um, okay. I get like that Canadian clear spritzy raspberry note. Um, kind of just that like if you bought a Dasani sparkling water or a LaCroix. I get a lot of the, um, raspberry flesh or raspberry essence if you will it doesn't smell jammy per se which is a word i hate when describing sours if you will i'm gonna try to just chug this and get some head going that's just bothering me like i get it it's barrel aged but it's also freaking carbonate that anyways yeah you definitely get that lacto brevi like just i don't know it's got kind of this yogurt melon cantaloupe style weirdness if you will um i don't know it's really really pedestrian when you think about it um i'm trying to think back to the what's it called uh berliner series from shells where they did frambois du nord and this is just whatever Um, yeah, definitely raspberries, just nothing too crazy. Uh, a little bit of this sweet sour note coming through under it. But yeah, I the nose of the complexity of it is just not that much. Uh, 500 cases made. Uh, doesn't actually state the bottling vintage. I.e. year. Not on the cork. Not anywhere I happen to see. So sorry for not knowing that on camera. Let's get into the taste. I believe it's a 14. Cheers. It's weird. Definitely tart. Definitely sour. Um... Almost more of American wild ale than an actual Berliner for me. With a Berliner, I typically get a little bit more of a cereal, crackery, bready, frosted flakes characters where a lot more of the malt comes through. And with this, I get these just like really, really sharp, funky blue cheese tones. Uh... Raspberry nonetheless, but a lot of oak, a lot of almost char. Yeah, I get this really, really earthy, pungent, um, rich cheese character. Um, the only way I can really explain it is with French cheeses. A lot of them that are super, um, you know, I'm not a cheese connoisseur, but like, they have this really, really dirty component, this funky component, this um, kind of like stank, 
if you will. Uh, this has that and the flavor. The nose is nice. The flavor is just weird. I mean, I'm really, really thankful to try this, but this is further another example of why you leave it to the Belgians. Uh, I, I personally just don't think that this is that great. The Barrel Works Bretta Rose, 500 cases, so definitely limited, definitely hard to get, definitely something you probably have to trade for. Super thankful, Casey and Ryan, for sending this to me. I'm sorry I'm so hard on beer. A lot of people call me a tough critic and that I need to lighten the fuck up, and just going off of what I think. I mean, puckering. Brutally tart. I had my pH meter here so we could tell if this is below three. It's got to be teetering like near stomach acid. I'm kidding, but like a 3.3 three would not shock me on a pH meter here. Um, just really, really lacking in the raspberry department. Color, taste, too much funk. And when I say funk, I don't mean nice barnyardy, horse blankety, you know, flytrap um, descriptors, which are bizarre in themselves. I just get this really unpleasant, funky Brett notes that are really detracting from the beer. Um, extremely overly tart. I mean, I need a glass of water to finish this bottle, and I'm pretty pissed off that this is where it's at. Um, no spritzy mouthfeel. Uh, really boring, funky, earthy, mushroomy, like, ground matter finish. Weird stuff. Uh, hopefully the rest of the series is not like this. Maybe I got a bad bottle. This is a... Uh, wow. Weird. They call it a rosé color on the back of the bottle. Don't get that. Uh, let's just read it to you. Behold, Bread or Rose, a low alcohol, Berliner Weiss style ale, acidified and matured in French oak punchions for six months. 1,000 pounds of fresh, locally soured Santa Maria raspberries were added and allow the secondary wild fermentation for more for four more months. And voila! This crisp, effervescent concoction is bursting with raspberry perfume and flavor. A rosé color, bracing acidity, I will give them that. Uh, and a clean, refreshing finish, a sanche. Uh, yeah. Let's see what it gets on Beer Advocate, because I'm curious. Are you guys okay with that? Good, because I am. <laughs> you see, you know, I don't really generally put too much stake in what Beer Advocate says, but when I'm off or when I'm not enjoying something or when I'm like, you know, am I way out in left field and totally crazy on something like this? This is getting a this is getting a ninety five and a average score of like a four four. Uh, yeah, wow. Um, there is some oak, like I said. Canadian clear raspberry artificial notes, um, blue cheese funk, I guess slightly barnyardy, manure-like. Um, there was only one beer where I would ever use that descriptor, and that was, um, oh, it was a barrel of vice from a really shitty brewery. White birch, poured it down the drain. This is borderline that. Uh, so... Maybe I don't give um, Berliners enough credit, um, but a beer that's flat, has zero color respective to the fruit that was added to it, and just is pretty one mute dimensional, and yeah, me, uh, leaves me yearning a lot more from this barrel program. So, hey guys, still love Firestone Walker, still love their barrel program, still willing to try anything that is soured by them. Um, I'm not going to write them off after one beer. Um, I think ratings wise for me this gets about a 78 I think it just misses the mark on a lot of fronts and tries to be an American wild ale more than an actual Berliner Weiss with a raspberry essence and it's just off so thank you so much for joining me and listening to me rant and babble for about 10 minutes of your life so uh, leave a comment in the description below am I way out in left field here have I completely missed the mark on all things that are American wild ale Berliner Weisses I'm going to go ahead and try to chug any amount ahead on this guy.
Let's see what we can achieve here. And I'm going to sit back and see if this improves with some fish or pair it with something light and slightly acetic as well with a salad or something. I don't know. I just, it's going away for now. So thank you so much for listening to me. Cheers.